Hello and welcome to Red Men TV. It's Jonathan here after a complete and utter roller coaster of a game and Jesus, I feel like I've played that game there even just sat at home watching it. It's just emotionally shattered, physically shattered. Uh, nerves gone, nails gone. <sighs> really, really, really crazy, crazy, crazy game of football and it's it's tonight we probably saw everything that's good and bad with Liverpool there just wrapped in a nutshell and Christmas wrapped etc etc <sighs> struggling even to find the words or even get my <laughs> my emotions to calm down after that game like come into the game and it was one of these games where I was I was actually nearly shaking with excitement I, I just could not wait for this game to start you know it had been built up all week you know we talked in pods and we talked to our mates whatever I'm really really looking forward to this game and I, I thought we were really going to go and open them up and I, I thought we and I thought for large periods in the first half it was going to be like like we, like like I kind of predicted and like we said, but you know it seems like a long long time ago now. But if we fast forward to the start of the start of the game, the team comes out and we're we're looking at it. We're looking at you know not that many surprises in the end in the in the team. I was of the opinion that he would start both Hendo and Chan just to try and give a bit more grip in midfield and just control the game because look. You didn't need to be a genius to work out that both defences really, really the weakest lines on on both teams. And, you know, if you can get a grip on the midfield and, and as a result have more possession of the football, you probably were going to have a, a big say in how the, the result of the game would end up. And, you know, he did start with that. And it was, a, it was a strange first half. You know, Arsenal, I've never seen them look more un-Arsenal-like, if that makes sense. They were, they were sluggish. They were slow. They sat deep. They gave the ball away. They looked completely like they'd lost all their passing ability. They were just lumping the ball forward. You know, even so, two or three times they kicked the ball out, in the, out of play on the sideline. Um, it was just weird type of day. They sat so deep. And we, we, we kind of started off the game and we, we, you know, I thought we started fairly sluggish, to, to be fair. I thought Chan especially, you know, we got the ball a couple of times at the start. And first couple of movements, he nearly gives the ball away. He's taking a touch too many and he's, he's bringing into trouble because they were trying to press then. And... Um, we we grew into the game. We grew into the game. You you could see the young lad at 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 left back, and you could see you know Salah was like, I'm gonna I'm gonna line you up here. And to be fair, he stood up to it. Apart from one moment where, and it was it was funny. Like <laughs> I was watching the game here, and Carragher saying, "Oh, Coutinho really isn't in the game," and then he plays one bit of ma bit of magic, and and it opens up. But yeah, strange game. We we had a lot of the ball. It didn't really create anything. But we're we're doing all the pushing. A couple of half opportunities. Uh, Hendo gets a knock. I think he does his hammer, chasing back after Ozil, um, and then is replaced. And you know, uh, the the little kid inside me was was hoping Chamberlain would come on just to wind up the Arsenal supporters. But no, he goes with the steady Eddie approach in Millie, um, who to be fair had a very good first half. Um, I thought Gomez was excellent in the first half. You know, he, he squared up anything that was was put in front of him. Sanchez a, a couple of times. You know, he's aggressive. You know, it was it was a, it was a good performance for him, and we had a nice bit of control on on the game and. It was funny up until up until the Hendo injury, and the, the game was kind of you know we had the ball, we didn't really create a lot, a couple of half opportunities, but not, not a hell of a lot of of goal mount action. And then Hendo gets injured, we're down to ten men for for a couple of minutes, and we have our best opportunity down, down the wing. And then we kind of click into life, and Salah gets gets a run on gets a run on the left back, and he comes in, you know, bombs it down. You're thinking, oh, here we go, here we go, and he comes in, it gets a little little flick to be fair of the deflection, the way that the ball came off the defender. But you look at the amount of players we've in the box and then Coutinho just gets the beautiful little late run into the box from, from the deeper line midfield role he was at and, and flicks it away and it's it's 1-0. And from there then, you know, it, what I was cursing at half time was that we hadn't scored a second and even a third because that's what our performance deserved in the first half. Like the fact that Arsenal were booed off at half time, I think it speaks volumes for the, for the way the game went. And you know we have Salas through again, and he gets a, a, a check saves, and the ball comes out to to Manny, and you know Manny's a little off the boil at the moment. You know he just looks like a player just zapped of confidence whatsoever. His touch is a bit poor, is a bit poor. You know he's making wrong decisions on the ball, which everything that he was touching last season w was perfect. But you know, and that's summed up by the way he tries to. You know he flies into a scissors kick. Look, let's be fair, we all would have done probably done the same. But looking at it here from from the geniuses on on the armchairs. Watching, you know, you take a touch, take a touch, and then roll into the net, and then even there's another one with Salah just after, and we, you know, we have a, we, ha we, the, what I'm, my thoughts at half time are like, oh Jesus, uh, we're only one nil up, we should be hell of a lot more. I hope we don't come to rue all these opportunities, and you know, we're full of confidence. 
Um, we look commanding, you know, midfield, defence, everything is solid. And, you know, Arsenal didn't really have, you know, it's 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 hard to remember any sort of opportunity they had of, of, of anything to count for in the first half. And then, madness, of course, half-time, as I said, they get booed off. Uh, come back on the, pack on the second half, they make a substitution. They, you know, it's the usual, the... the they hammer into us a little and then we're setting a little deeper and we in typical Liverpool fashion of late on the counter we score an absolute wonder goal and you know it's it's good work on the corner from from Melly the ball comes out to Salah he does a big one to Bobby who does brilliantly actually just to come out and drag a couple of defenders and then Salah all on his own and you know he he gets a little bit of a look yes the little nick off the off the off the shot coming through but he deserved that for the for the way he come through and like he's he's lined up three people and he's just he's just squared them left and right and, and stuck it in and like you're thinking from here this is utter pure pure emotion for me I'm screaming around like an idiot here I thought you know this is it now we're going to go into this comfortably and then straight away it's almost like we're still celebrating and um, make a mistake Gomez gets called on the on the on the back post. And it's 2-1 and you're thinking, okay, okay, you know, this isn't great and the crowd's up. But, you know, we have this. This is under control. And then, I don't know. <laughs> we did it. We just did the most Liverpool thing ever. Then was it four minutes, 54 seconds or something like that? 43 seconds or whatever it is. Just under five minutes. And it's it slides out and it's we just completely shoot ourselves in the foot. The second one, you know... Uh, you know, he's, he steadied his performances re- recently, but mainly that, that just isn't good enough. That ball is straight down your throat. Yes, it zips across the place, but he gets a hand on it. you got to do stronger. You know, <sighs> it's so frustrating. Uh, they're back in the game, it's 3-2. And then we just completely go kamikaze. Um, Clavin has the ball, he goes tearing up the pitch. You know, Robbo is, you know, he's 2-1-1 on the left side. Don't pass it to him, just play it forward, even kick it long, whatever. Just don't pass it. He plays it to Robbo. It takes a bad touch and then we're just opened up. Ball comes out and I, I still, Ming Lee has to do better for this one because he's gone to ground too early. You know, he's down on his ground on, on the near post. He's down and then Ozil dinks it over the far side and you're thinking, oh Jesus Christ, this is Liverpool. For fuck's sake, you know, it's 3-3. Three, three. What? How, how has this even happened? You know, we for a game that we totally dominated at halftime to go on to get another goal to get in even further in the lead and next one, it's just wiped out in a couple of minutes of football and, and it's 3-3 three, three and you're, you know, Talk about everything, nerves, emotions, everything is just shattered, you know, in in an absolute heap here. But there's loads of time and we kick into the game a little and um, Bobby gets the equaliser. Uh, you know, he had a brilliant game tonight and he did a lot of hell of a lot of, of work off the ball. Um, it's, it's very Arsenal like, you know, Czech doesn't do great. There's a big hole in the defence. He comes through. But yet, even after that, I know they have one or two chances, but we have the biggest chances. You know, you have Manny coming in, coming in again. There's another one for Salez, kind of, kind of balls where he should have been played through a little early. There's one from Genie, should have been played through a little early. There's one from Chan a little, a little early, and it's just a crazy, crazy game of football. And you, I'm sure, I'm sure for the neutral. It was a wonderful game of football to watch. But as as a as a Liverpool supporter, that was hard to take. I have to say, and you know. I'm completely and utterly emotionally, physically shattered after that. Is a draw a good result? <sighs> right now, it feels like no, because you know this was a this was a, an opportunity to make a big statement to, to really leap leapfrog Arsenal on the table. Um, when we had such a grip on on the game to just blow it away in a couple of minutes. Um, and you know the one thing you will say is maybe maybe Klopp does a little little. You know, he's showing a different side to him, you know, with the substitutions, the fact that he, he brings on Genie and then goes straight at the back. Um, maybe he's learning to try and, I don't know, to try and close out games a bit more. But we look, we failed on it. Yes, we didn't score at the end. But it's it's just, I'm really, really struggling just to find the words here. I'll look at it. I'll watch the, back, the match back a bit later and I'm sure I'll look at it when my nerves have calmed down. But right now I'm just all over the place. As To answer my question, is a, is a draw a good result right now? No. Um, was it a good result before the game? I probably would have said no. A lot of people would have taken it, but you know, I thought we were good enough to beat them, and we showed at large periods why we were good enough to beat them. Um, uh, when it's three two, would you take a draw? Probably, but you know, it all is. I kind of felt like if we went, if we really went at them, you know, there was goals there again, which there was by the opportunities that we created. But look, <sighs> crazy, crazy, crazy ass game, and. If if ever wanted a game to sum up what uh, being a Liverpool supporter is, that's probably it. That couple of minutes in the second half probably is it. It's the good, the bad, and the ugly. Um, and 
there we go. We have to march on, I guess. You know, it's a short turnaround. The guys will have their their healthy Christmas dinner. We go on to Swansea, then we've Burnley, and you know the games are coming thick and fast. But I'll wrap it up there, folks. That's been your match reaction. Thanks for listening. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the Redmen TV. Click on the bell to get the notifications for for the live content that comes through to be the first to know about it. And uh, we will talk to you all very soon. Up the red.